Welcome to my channel. With respect, let me introduce myself. My name is Andreas Christian. On this occasion, I will explain how to generate a hash or we can call it a checksum for a file and use the hash value to compare the integrity of a file. This lab assignment is in the introduction to cybersecurity course, chapter 1, the need for cybersecurity. You just click the course index, click lab index, and then select lab compare data with the highest. Click this link, and we will automatically redirect it to a PDF file containing the practical guide. Then download this PDF file. Open it with a PDF editor apps. The goal of this lab is to use a hashing program to verify data integrity. The only resource we need is a PC, of course, with an internet connection. Let's go to the practical steps. Step 1. Create a text file. Here, we will use Notepad. Open Notepad apps and just type some words like example on this PDF. And save this file to desktop with file name has.txt. Click save. Close notepad. And the second step is to install the has called application. Click on the link on this page. And we are directed to the Slava Surface website. Download the has called by clicking this link. Yes, don't worry, the size is very small. Then, after we download it, follow the installation wizard to install HasCalc. After installation complete, open the app. And set the following item. First, the data format is file. Then click this three dots button, navigate to text and choose has.txt file. Click open. Make sure we uncheck HMAC and uncheck all has types except MD5. We must uncheck this marks. And we can click the calculate button. And the equation on step 3 is what is the value next to MD5? So we have seen the value. Just copy these values into the PDF. Step 4. Make a change to the has.txt file. Navigate to the desktop and open the has.txt file again. Then we make a minor change to the text, such as deleting a letter or adding a space, but in this case I'm just going to delete the last few words. So the final sentence will change to this is a text file. Click file, save, and close notepad. Finally, the last step, calculate a new hash of the has.txt file. Open the has call apps again click calculate and 
copy the value into the PDF. Then we compare it with the value in step 3 before. We can add a box around it. Yes, we can see that the value has changed. So we can answer the question in step 5. Is the value different from the value recorded in step 3? The answer is yes. The value is different. And next, open the hash call once again and select all hash types by clicking these marks. Click all these marks. Click calculate button again and notice that many of the hash types create a hash of a different length. The question is why do different hash types create different hash lengths? The answer is we can look that each hash type uses a different algorithm resulting in a different hash length. For example, we can look at SHA-1 and SHA-256. SHA-1 has a bit length of 160, while SHA-256 has 256 bit length. So, SHA-256 is more secure than SHA-1 because a larger Aspect can provide higher security. I'm just copying this text so it doesn't take a long time. And that's all about this lab section. Thank you for watching.